Hey guys, I've got a flash review for you. This time it's the Antline LED replacement bulbs for uh, trailers, backup lights, that sort of thing. So what we're looking at is replacing a bulb of this style with something that's LED. So with that you get a higher efficiency, lower heat, a lot brighter. Uh, those are all the promises. Let's see what we got here. So this is from Antline. This is one I found on Amazon. And what I found is that these are nicely packaged in bubble wrap and ESD wrap. They look pretty amazing. And you could open. Take a look at that. This is a metal or at least metalized housing with three sets of six LEDs around the outside and actually has three LEDs behind a nice lens here. So this looks like it'll actually have a little bit of a, a spotlight effect. I'm not sure. In my case, I want that. Um, looks like this doesn't unscrew or anything. It's pretty solid. Uh, it has the, the standard offset uh, tabs as well as two positive and the outside's negative. Uh, at least that's how it has to be for an LED to work. Uh, so let's uh, take a look at what this looks like installed on my trailer, in this case for my, uh, my rear brake lights, and uh, how bright they are one side versus the other. So I'm going to take the, uh, the fixture off of just one side and we'll see, just back up and look at it, uh, how much better this is. Okay, so what I have here is I have a lux meter, and this is going to tell me how uh, what the lux brightness is of the bulbs. So just going point blank, just like this, I'm reading 8,380. Over here, I'm reading 10,200. If we go to this guy, I'm reading 3,700. Lux. Over here, the best I can read is uh, 3,280 lux. So looking at this bulb up close, you can see how the, the three sides, there's one side here and there's one side here. So looking at the, this fixture straight from the back, it's actually not as bright as if it was turned like this, looking straight at the, uh, the bulb or looking straight down the tube of that lensed section. So in this case, just because the way it happens to fit into this fixture, um, it is not the, the best shape because light's kind of going left and mostly to, mostly to the left here, um, which isn't bad, honestly, because by the time I put the cover back on, that's kind of the view you'd see from the side of the trailer looking at it anyway. So uh, overall, not bad, uh, but it's not, uh, because it's not omnidirectional, and the way the angle of the bulb is, you can see how this is an uh, ideal bulb for this particular fixture. Okay guys, there you have it. That was the, uh, the difference between a standard bulb and these Antline uh, LED bulbs. Uh, link in the description below. And what you can see based on these is that it really honestly kind of depends. In fact, I noticed between two of these Antline bulbs, if you, uh, if you look, the actual orientation of the bulb, and I haven't really tried forcing on these yet, and now they don't rotate. Depending on where these pins line up with these facets, some LED, some bulbs work a little better than others, depending on which direction you need the, these LEDs to face. So even though the LEDs are kind of facing in different directions, there's still a lot of light coming towards you. It's just not as bright as pointing straight back. So in a brake light application, where you're really trying to get the maximum brightness straight out the back, these are kind of hit and miss, I guess I could say. Now, if it's going straight out like this, like you saw in the one uh, backup light, here you have three very bright bulbs that are shooting straight out, and, there's, and this is lensed as well, and I, I really like the kind of light I saw shooting out of, the, out of the back this way. And based on the numbers that you, you heard me called out, uh, this direction was definitely the brightest. Uh, going this direction, the standard bulb actually did better because the orientation looking straight back was kind of like this instead of like this. 
And if that makes sense, um, you can just see why this kind of bulb does put more light in all directions as opposed to more directional LEDs. So again, I can, I can recommend these uh, and it just kind of depends on your application. This would be ideal if it's going to look like this or like this in your fixture. Uh, it might be a little more erratic. Uh, if your fixture is just kind of all around uh, light, then it's probably going to do great. Until next time, we'll do more reviews. Be blessed.